Today we came back to a home in Rowlett, Texas for a warranty call. Eight years ago we installed concrete piers on this foundation, and this is one of the clearest examples of why we no longer use concrete piers. Concrete piers can be a good affordable solution, but in most cases they stop inside the active zone, the highly reactive clay layers that expand and contract with moisture, and if you live in Texas, you already know how unpredictable our weather is. One year it's heavy rain, the next it's extreme drought. The movement never stops. Because concrete piers have a large surface area and no friction resistant steel tip, they build pressure quickly at shallow depths. It's rare to see concrete piers reach 30 feet. On this house, 8 years ago, they reached 16 to 20 feet. And after 8 years, the structure settled again, about 1.2 inches. As part of our commitment to providing permanent solutions, we didn't just adjust the old piers. We replaced them with hybrid piers at no additional cost to the homeowner. These new piers drove 23 to 25 feet deep in steel, plus 4 more feet of concrete, roughly 7 to 10 feet deeper than the original concrete piers. And thanks to their friction-resistant tip and a smaller diameter, they don't build resistant at shallow depths. They cut through the reactive clays and truly reach competent load-bearing soils, fully bypassing the active zone. With hybrid piers in place, this home is now locked in for decades. And when I talk about our lifetime warranty, some people don't believe it. But repairs like this are proof. The ground change, the soil moves, and if our peers fail, we stand behind our work, always. If you find this type of content helpful, make sure to subscribe and share our videos. It really helps educate more homeowners about real foundation science.